What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to share with you 8 common mistakes of the 4 body weight exercises I showed you on my previous video and I will also share with you how to fix them. So let's start off with the first exercise which is the push-up. So the first common mistake of the push-up is flaring elbow. So a way to, to tell if you're doing it right or you're doing it wrong is by using your fingers as the baseline. So if your fingers are pointing forward as you do the push-up, it's a good sign. It's a good, uh, actually, it, as you can see, my elbows are not too close, neither too far from my, my body, and this is a good position. But if I turn uh, my fingers inward, as you can see, my, my, my elbows are moving away from my body. So this is a bad position for my shoulders. It can lead to shoulder injuries, shoulder pain, and, and more. So we don't want this position. So this, this position is also called the T-shape. So we want to prioritize the W shape, which is the, the, the position where the fingers are pointing forward in order to avoid injuries and in order to also target more efficiently the chest and the tricep muscles. So the next now, the next common mistake of the pull shop is the dropping and or elevating the hips. So we want everything to be steady. So from, from the ankles to, 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 the, to, the, to the shoulders, right? And even the, 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 the wrist. So we want, <clears throat> we want to, to engage the muscles, right? So I like to compare the plank position, which is the position you use when, when, when you do the push-up on the floor. I like to compare this position with a suspended bridge. So let's pretend the cables are the muscles. So what will happen if the cables are not strong enough? Yes, the, the, the bridge will collapse, right? So the problem is, is the problem is not engaging the muscles uh, that helps everything to be steady, right? For example, the, the core muscles, uh, the muscles around the shoulders. So really important to, to be aware of uh, the stability of the exercise. So the next exercise is the burpee. So the burpee, and the, the first common mistake of the burpee is hard uh, landing. So actually, you can tell by hearing um, the sound after landing, you can tell if, if, if your land is hard or it's soft. So I'm going to sh actually demonstrate you uh, so that you can, you can hear what a, a hard landing uh, sounds like, right? I'm going to share with you and I'm going to show you. So this is a hard landing and as you can see, it seems like it was a, a earthquake going on right here, right now. And uh, I'm going now to, to, to show you and, and, and so that you can hear what a soft landing sounds like. As you can hear again, uh, it doesn't sound like like a big impact, right? The soft landing, and how you do a soft landing, you the soft landing when you do the soft landing, you have to slightly bend your knees as you land. So this will actually um, uh, be better. Uh, you will avoid um, so the, the impact won't be as uh, as hard as doing the, the, the hard landing so uh, keeping for example keeping the, the knees extended and, and the legs extended so we don't want that we want kind of um, bending so that you you keep the movement and uh, it's, uh, it's 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 actually slowing down a little bit so it's it's better for for your lower back joint and uh, your lower back and, and your joints around your, your spine so so you avoid again Injuries, we don't want that, right? So the next common mistake of the um, um, the burpee is uh, focusing on the quantity over the quality. So it is better to do fewer repetitions, but with good energy, with proper form, than doing it doing too many, but 
without thinking on what you're doing and doing it in a trashy way, right? So it is better because you're actually working, right? If you're not working at all, if you're not targeting the muscle, I don't know what you're doing, right? You're wasting your time. So that's really, really, really important. The third exercise is um, the shoulder tap, tap uh, shoulder tap, sorry, the shoulder tap. So um, the first common mistake of the shoulder taps is swaying the hips uh, sideways. So why are you swaying your, your, your hips sideways? It's because you're not engaging the muscles, the, the, the core muscles, which is the main muscles you want to work, right, on doing this exercise. So that's really important, targeting and engaging and squeezing those muscles. The next common mistake of the, the shoulder taps is the head, the head position. So you, you want to, you want to, um, it's, it's like the, the mistake is looking ahead and looking up. So if you're looking ahead and you're looking up, you can, you can put kind of a, a strain on your, on your neck and on the long run, you can stress your neck out and you don't want that. You don't want to actually work something you don't want to work like doing the exercise, right? So <clears throat> in order to avoid that, you want to slightly look forward and down. So that's the best way to avoid those problems. The next common mistake of the, um, of the shoulder, uh, no, sorry, that was it for the shoulder tap. The next exercise, the last one, is the shoulder, um, not the shoulder, the stationary lunges. So the first common mistake of the stationary lunges is leaning forward as you do the exercise, uh, leaning your body forward. So uh, this actually will decrease your range of motion, which is a bad thing because if you do, uh, if you decrease your range of motion, you're not working um, the muscle, uh, we can see completely you're like kind of doing it halfway and you want to do it fully like fully because it's a how you work efficiently the, the muscle and it's how you make you will make it grow so this is really important you want to make sure you um so as you do the exercise you want to make sure your body is straight centered and also that your knee is aligned with your head so this was for the that was it for the first uh, mistake and the last mistake mistake of the last exercise is raising the heel off the ground so the the, the heel of the front leg of the ground and <clears throat> so so that you understand i will ask you a question would you rather jump from the sand or the concrete if you want to jump as high as you can so I guess your answer is concrete. Why? Because it's a hard surface, and the, the energy won't. Will, the, actually, the energy will stay there because uh, it's hard. It's stable, and if we if we if we jump from the sand, uh, the sand is not stable, right? The sand will move away. That the particles of the sand will move away, and uh, the energy will dissipate. And we don't want that. We want uh, we want the energy to, to stay there and so that you can actually generate more force, more energy. And that's how we do it. That's how we can jump high. That's why we can generate more force by, by doing it on a hard surface. So that's really, really important to keep the heel on the ground all the time when you do the exercise and you make sure everything is stable so that you you're, you know that you, you're generating as much uh, strain and force as you can do right as you could do doing the exercise so um that was it for uh, for this video thank you guys for watching and see you on another one uh, with me goodbye